Hi everyone, this is Raina Roach Tabulet. Today I'm going to be talking about the keeled box turtle. This animal has many names. The scientific name for this animal is Pixidia mahuri or Kiara mahuri. In Thai, this animal is known as Tao Chan. The three common names for this turtle are keeled box turtle, jagged shell turtle, and keeled back box turtle. The other names for this are Vietnamese box turtle, saw back box turtle, thorn turtle, and keel back box turtle. This turtle can grow up to 7 to 8 inches. They are brownish in color, growing from tan to reddish brown and even dark brown. They have keels on their back upper shell, which is called the carapace. That is dented behind and occasionally also at the front. The carapace of the turtle has a jagged, sharp edge at the back and near the front. The lower shell is light brown with a dark brown smudge on each scute, which is like a large bony plate. The front lower shell is hooked together, allowing these turtles to fold it up when their head is away and shut themselves into their shell. The head is brown and it has a short snout and hook-shaped mouth. Its arms and legs are gray to dark brown or black. Females would have orange or red eyes. The males would generally have brown or black eyes. The legs behind are slightly roundish in shape. The front legs are covered with large scales. The toes of the turtle are slightly webbed. And males have longer and thicker tails than female. Characteristics. Male keel turtles are very aggressive toward female during mating activity. And they can injure the female. Fighting amongst male to male is also common and some male can die due to this. During courtship, male will actively chase the female by biting her. This type of turtle walks higher than normal turtles, lifting their bodies several inches high above the ground. They are very outgoing and they become very friendly with their owners and can even take food from the owner's hands. However, you need to be conscious of them biting your hands. They are very friendly animals. With good care, they will become a tame, responsible, active, and enthusiastic pet. This turtle's ecosystem is often in forest, and surprisingly, these turtles aren't so used to water. Because they have webbed feet, we know that they stay on land more than they go into water. They are usually found in deep layers of leaves in rocky mountainous regions. This is also known as rocky slopes, or in forests. There are a group of freshwater turtles that live on land, but not in families. Each group of turtles laid is called a clutch. The keeled box turtle is mostly a herbivore, but it does eat meat. Sometimes it is classified as an omnivore. This is something scientists are still working on. In the wild, this turtle eats a variety of vegetation and prefers to eat fallen fruits. This turtle also consumes worms, mullet, snakes, and other meats. You have to be careful with what you give them to eat, like a variety of vegetables, fruits, worms, crickets, and pinkies. This information was found on archive.com. Location and distribution. According to www.sites.org, the location of this animal was found in China, northern and Assam in India. In Thailand, these turtles are located in places such as northern of Thailand, Central Vietnam, Laos, northern Cambodia, and it is on the rich area of Myanmar. This animal is distributed in Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and Mae Hong Son. It is found in the south and in the central of China. In China, you will never find them in the wild, and in China, they are often found in Yunnan, Huangnan, Guangdong, Guangxi, and Huangnan provinces. In China, in India, this turtle is found in Meghalaya. Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, and possibly in Mizoram. In Vietnam, there is so little left that it is all at the national forest parks and protective areas. In Thailand, this animal can be found at Luang Prabang Mountain at the border between Thailand and Laos. According to the icunredlist.org, they state that this animal is classified as EN, which stands for Endangered on the Chart. In China, it is over collection for the food trade, and they also illegally hunt these turtles to create traditional Chinese medicine. So basically, this animal is used for consumption and selling. And in Vietnam and Myanmar, it is consumed by the citizens. The trading is usually done to Vietnam and China. In India, this animal is used for food too, and in Laos, it is used for collection habits. 
They are also slow to Vietnam and China fall fast. This animal is also decreasing in population due to deforestation and abandonment of the area. So basically, this, these turtles and this environment is being abandoned. There's a lot of degradation going on. The Kielbach's turtle don't breed often enough for the population to increase. They only breed two times a year between June to September. Most of the time, the children are abandoned, leading to a loss of their young. This animal is very unlikely to be sustainable. More and more animals are getting endangered almost every day. Soon our ecosystem will contain very less animals, and obviously this isn't a good thing. These animals are so loved by people, and if they are endangered, it will be a huge disgrace. The animals a part of the Kielbach's turtles food chain will also be highly affected. For an example, the mullet, snails, worms, crickets, and pink. As part of the World Conservation Society Asian Turtle Conservation Program, they are currently in progress to protect the Kielbach's turtle within Vietnam's CUC Puong National Park. Conservation actions include field research. They will do this by training foreign forest rangers and incorporating turtle awareness into community-based education programs. Here are also a few organizations that are helping this turtle. Many freshwater turtles and tortoises are protected by various wild animal protection laws of the Republic of China. The collection of many species is only allowed for scientific research, captive breeding, exhibition, radio telemetry studies, and other special reasons. The scientists are trying to help the turtles breed so that they don't get extinct. The transport of protected species across places requires permission from government departments. Import or export of protected species also requires permission and certificates. The laws are getting straightened day by day, and this should help the future of the killed box turtle. With small actions, we can help save these turtles. We can do things like make people aware of their actions and help stop deforestation. We can do this by showing the impacts of what happens to these turtles, either good or bad. On www.asianturtlenetwork.org, there are plenty of ways to help these beautiful little animals. This website gives you an opportunity to adopt a pet or donate to this organization. By spreading the words to your friends, family, and more, we can help make a huge difference and prevent the keeled box turtle from getting extinct. Remember, 92% of your support goes directly to the front lines of turtle conservation. So help out! my MLA bibliography. Hope you enjoy.